All right, bougie babes, the next thing that we're gonna do is add those e.l.f. Um, face tape stickers again. This I like to do before the eyebrows because it helps me figure out exactly where the tail of the brow should be, helps me extend it a little bit um, and make it the most symmetrical. So I brush the brows with a spoolie a little bit and then I go in with that Bedellium Tools uh, coarse eyebrow brush and I start to pack in the Senna Cosmetics and the BH Cosmetics um, eyebrow powder. Uh, I usually start in the middle of the brow, work my way out to the end, and then go in really lightly in the front. If I start in the front, sometimes it becomes a little bit too heavy, and we don't want to do that. Um, I like to kind of put it in there, wipe up any areas if I need to, um, brush through them again, kind of diffuse it. Um, so it's all, all part of the process. A lot of uh, touch and go, a lot of assessing things as I go along. Now I am taking a uh, brush and applying concealer to her lids from that MAC palette and buffing it out. This is, as you can see, going to um, make her uh, eyelids nice and primed and ready for the eyeshadow we're gonna put on. We're doing a white look today. So right now I'm adding a little bit of a soft brown contour to give a little bit of dimension and to go along with the inspiration photo that we had. Um, so I'm just kind of buffing that in to both eyes with a Morphe uh, fluffy brush. And again, just a soft brown, as you can see, to just give a little dimension, a little contour to the eyes because we're doing a mainly white and gemmed eye look. If we didn't do any soft brown, any contour to the eye, then the look would ultimately fall a little bit flat. So um, it was important to do this step. Now I am taking actually a craft store brush. Um, this is just, I think, from Hobby Lobby and Danessa Myrick's Color Fix um, pigment in pure white. And I'm doing, you know, kind of this um, uh, shape over the lid that kind of wings out a little bit. And this, although this is on high speed, um, this did take some time because I wanted to apply it and then I wanted to correct the shape and then I wanted to do a second layer to make sure that it was really nice and opaque. So this, um, this definitely took a minute um, to get it right, to get it exactly the way um, that I wanted and that we needed for this look. So um, really going back and forth with that brush and just kind of making sure it is all good. Uh, being really careful to get those lines just the way I want them. And now I'm gonna go back to the other one and make sure it kinda has that same lift and that same curve. Um, I absolutely loved doing this look. It really, really worked for, um, for Nelly. Now we are gonna take away those face strips and you'll notice how sharp that shape is. Um, I absolutely love those stickers. They are inexpensive from e.l.f. and they work every single time and they give me a beautiful sharp line. So what I'm doing now is I'm applying that eyelash glue and like in my last video, um, we go in sections. We go in small sections to help it to get tacky and to dry and to go along with our look. So now I am taking my little wax pen. I'm going right along the edge and the curves of really gemmed out, glammed out. It's just such a beautiful um, transition and transformation. And that's why I love beauty so much. Um, so we're gonna keep <clears throat> Excuse me, we're gonna keep adding these gems little by little. We're going, going, going. Um, and yeah, this takes a little bit of time, but it is worth it. It is worth every step. Um, the look in the end will be super awesome. Taking my wax pen, applying glue step by step by step, really, truly getting um, each gem in there the way that I want. I am doing it um, like one above the other. So one high, one low, one high, one low to give a really nice um, even and like well, um, what's the word I'm looking for? Kind of well spaced out um, gem so that it looks very balanced. That's the word I'm looking for, balanced. Um, now I'm taking my finger and wrapping it with a makeup wipe and just even perfecting that outer corner even more, making sure it's clean, even as possible. Um, we can see now that that shape is looking really good. They're looking really even. She's looking really glowy. Um, and we are about to get into some lashes. So, oops, actually, before that, I'm adding a little bit of glow to that white, just so it's still white, but has a little bit of sheen. So I'm just taking a cream kind of silvery eyeshadow for that. Um, the next thing that we are going to get into um, is the lashes. So in this application, one of the lashes kept poking her. So you'll see that in a minute. Um, we actually only applied one lash. Um, well, we applied both, but we had to end up taking off one. Um, and that's just the way it is sometimes. Sometimes lashes 
work sometimes they don't sometimes they get kind of funny on you and um they're not always created equal which is so weird but um yeah but it is what we got to do sometimes so um i'm applying this one as well i call these the nelly lash because they are as bold and as beautiful as her and it just makes the look like so pop and so awesome with her um and now i'm adding some inner glow to make the inner corner pop and just look fly as ever i'm gonna clean up that little area in a minute um because it's a little more droopy than i'd like um, but yeah, now we can see that it's causing our little trouble. We're taking it off and I'm going to apply the lash at the